Hi, this is Tim with BPAS Enterprise Point of Sale Systems. In this video, we're going to talk about customer loyalty in BPAS. It's important to note that BPAS has its own internal loyalty system. I know that many systems don't have internal loyalty systems, so if you want to do loyalty in their systems, you have to use some third-party app and you have to then tell your existing point of sale system what you did in the app and really manage two systems to manage the loyalty. But in BPAS, this is all one system, so we can manage the rewards, all of that, and all the accounts, and the CRM, and everything all in one system. So it, it's also a couple important notes about BPAS customer loyalty is this is a very big topic. And in the context of this video, I'm only gonna be able to touch the tip of the iceberg on options for this. But we'll touch the high level and see if, if we can get a, a lot of information to help you understand what we can do. So first, it's important to note that BPAS can do most of the loyalty programs that you're used to seeing. So I could do buy 10, get one free. I could do spend $100 and get some kind of coupon. I could do spend $100 and get a widget. I could do spend $100 and get 100 points that I can then use to spend back in the store. All of those options are options within BPAS. We could also do things like tiered loyalty. So you might have a tiered plan, which is bronze, silver, gold, platinum, titanium, as many different levels as you want to have. And BPAS can automatically tier your customers through those levels. So let's say bronze is good until, and every business is a little different, but good until you spend $1,000. Once you've spent $1,000, you become silver. So once you hit that silver level, BPAS will automatically move you up to the silver level. And at the silver level, you could now get a whole different set of rewards. So if it's buy 10, get one free, now it might be buy nine, get one free. If it's spend $100 to get a widget, it might now be spend $90 to get a widget. If it's spend $100 and get 100 points, it might be spend $100 and get 110 points. Could be lots of different methods on how I track and take care of this information for loyalty customers, but there's many different ways that this could be done. Now, on the back side of this, I've given you a loyalty program and we put the information in there on how we track the customers. I could track them by their email address, by their mobile phone number, by a card, by an app, by a widget on the website. Lots of different methods that we could use to interface for your loyalty program, but at the end of the day, um, we want to be able to market to these customers. So not only do I want to use a loyalty program to give customers an incentive to keep on coming back to my, my business, but I also want to be able to market to them and help pull them back into my business. So now I can do things like today, if you don't have a loyalty program, you don't know if a customer stops coming to your business. In BPAS, I could say, hey, I want to automatically every month send out a text message or an email to every customer we haven't seen in X number of days. Let's say it's 90, 180, whatever you feel comfortable with in your time period. And you automatically send them a text message or an email with a promotion. So the text message or email says something like, hey, we haven't seen you in a while. We'd love to see you back. If you come back in on your next transaction, you'll get 10% off. It'll automatically apply at the register. You don't even need to bring anything. So when that customer comes in and refers and brings up their loyalty account, however you bring it up in the system, again, we said there's many different ways to do that. When I bring up their transaction and I ring up the appropriate item, so the discount, let's say I gave them 10% off of certain items, they have to get that certain item or in that group of items, Otherwise, the discount won't apply. But if they ring up the product in that category, the system could automatically pop up for the cashier and tell them, hey, this customer has a, a voucher that they would like to redeem. Would you like to redeem it now? And they can ask the customer. And if the customer says yes, they can apply it and it will take 10% off of the rules that you applied to it. Now, it's important to note with some of these there can be expiration dates. So I could give you a reward and your reward would be good for X number of days. Let's say it's good for 30 days. If you don't come within that 30 day period, the reward won't work. If you come within the 30 day period, it would. Um, and it's also important to note that that digital reward is removed from the system. So the customer only gets one reward if that's what they're qualified for. So lots of different ways that we can look at that. 
It is also possible to give certain discounts only to loyalty customers. Now I can give examples for this that you've probably all seen in grocery stores or in airports. So in a grocery store, if you sign up for the loyalty plan, they have certain discounts that are on the shelf that only apply if you're a loyalty member. So we could do that and say these promotions only are applied. You get a buy one, get one free deal. It's only if you're a loyalty member. You get this item 10% off. It's only if you're a loyalty member. You could also do that on your tiered program. And this can be very powerful. So you could now say, hey, if you get to be a gold member, these promotions are only available for gold members. Now we also have customer facing displays. Uh, so we could add a customer facing display and on that customer facing display, you can pop up videos and texts and graphics. And on those, you could advertise your promotions. So now you could say on your customer facing display, hey, gold member discount is 10% off of whatever, right? And now everybody wants to become a gold member. And this is all very similar to the airlines. You know, if you become a gold elite status for your airline, now you get, um, you know, certain perks. You get first on the airline, you get certain discounts on certain items. Certain things apply only to you once you get that gold status. So people will shop or go to the same airline over and over again in order to achieve that gold status. So we could give you that same psychological benefit with your customers to say, hey, once you become a gold member, these discounts are gonna apply. These promotions are only for gold members, but we tell everybody about them. So everybody wants to be, achieve that gold status. And it can be very powerful to incentivize your customers to come back over and over and over again. Um, that's just a brief overview of some of the things that BPAWS can do related to loyalty. There's many, many more things that we can do and we'd love to talk to you about how we can help you with loyalty programs in our point of sale system. If you'd like to talk to us, you can call the number at the top of the screen or click the link below.